Hey there guys, what's up? It's Vertigo, and we are back in the swamp at Farron's Keep. Um, so, we're back out here where this tree is. I, um, I approached it from a little different direction. I think I actually, like, went the super long way around. Um, but I've already killed the giant crab, and he gave me something. But I wanted to, like, scavenge the area. Now that we've made friends with the giant... Those arrows aren't raining down on us. Um, so we're going to pick this stuff up and then we're going to look at what the heck it gave us. Um, so we're in deep swamp here. I, like this is me holding the stick all the way down. And it's just a, like a slow trudge. Ugh. God, I hate swamps. Uh, ooh, gold pine bundle. And then, last but not least, Large Soul of a Nameless Traveler. Um, I guess, so since I went the long way around, these beasts that I firebombed in the last episode are still here. Um, fortunately, because I'm forced to move so slow, uh, I have no choice but to sneak up on them. Um, I'm using a different weapon here right now. I'm using a Fire Enchanted Ujigatana. Um, I just, I really, I wanted to try out something different. Um, so instead of my regular broadsword, I tried out the Ujigatana. Um, so I'm still working on how we're going to advance here. Um, yeah, so basically the way I went was I went all the way around here. I came through here, killed off all these slugs, um, through the swamp, um, and then up and around here. Oh, but not here. Exactly. Um, more like around that way. I think I kind of like hug the wall. Um, and that just kind of eventually like it brought me all the way around the keep into where that giant crab was. Um, we'll look at what we got from that crab in a little bit. Uh, oh god. I don't know if I want to attack you right now. So, giant slime monster over there. Uh, I don't really have the health to justify it right now. I'm going to go rest at that bonfire back here. And then we're going to talk about um, going up against that slime monster. Man, this flame enchanted Ujigatana just tit another one? Okay. So there's two slime monsters flying, flying around here. Um, oh, gods. Hmm. Alright. So I'm going to come up here, restore my Estus. I'm going to look at some of the stuff that was brought, that or not that was brought, that we got from around that white tree and then we'll decide where we're going all right so we got more white tree branches uh branch of a white birch received from a giant oh this is the one that the the giant gave us i didn't realize it was a different one young white branch uh, so this is the one uh given to us by the giant at the top of the tower <laughs> good friend no hit <laughs> that's nice that's cool um but we also have these ones um a young white branch used to transform into something which blends into the surroundings little duck's first sorcerer's staff eventually became a seedling and then three white birch saplings the young branch is said to still contain echoes of little duck's capriciousness so that's interesting so it's harkening back to Dark Souls 1 with uh, Dusk of Ula Seal um, and the special Ula Seal sorceries, one of which was um, Chameleon, which turned you into something that blended into the surroundings. Oh, that's, oh, that's just rich. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, so I am now Snake. Of Metal Gear Solid. 
hiding around in this box. Hello? Yeah, I didn't really think that one would work out. <laughs> oh god. I don't know why I thought that was going to work. Oh yeah, a moving box. Nothing wrong here. Oh god. That was that was cute nevertheless. One more swing. There we go. <laughs> that was pretty funny actually. That was that was a good one. Um anyway. What else we got in here? <laughs> that was funny. Um we got some Gold Pine Bundles, which I assume, I still haven't used them. I was never one for using these things a lot, but um, they, I assume it's a longer lasting version of the Pine Resin. Uh, we got, oh, I'm sorry you guys had to see that. I'll talk about what this is in a little bit, but it's, it's pretty shameful for me. Um... What else do we get? Oh, I found this while stumbling around in the swamp. Um, it was actually pretty disturbing. Um, I came upon a little alcove in the swamp. Um, if you go to the, the white tree and then go to the left, you'll come across this little island. There's a couple of the blighted wolves or whatever we're calling them now. Um, and also the corpses of the mushroom people the, of which Elizabeth was one Dusk's um, caretaker I guess you would call her but yeah a bunch of those mushroom people just the corpses of them skewered about the island it was uh it was pretty sad but it gave us this scroll scroll containing sorceries of the crystal sages uh, give it to a sorcerer to learn sorceries of the sages. As any sorcerer knows, sorcery is a talent, and those sorceries were refined to nurture a very special talent. Um, that's cool. Um, did we get anything else of note? I don't think so. Oh, this um, this was dropped by the giant crab out there, actually. Um, and those of you who are sorcerers in previous games will appreciate this. Uh, the Lingering Dragon Crest Ring, a special ring given to those who are deemed fit to undertake the journey of discovery in Vinheim, home of sorcery. Uh, extends length of spell effect. Apropos to the Dragon School, the seal de depicts an everlasting dragon. A lingering dragon symbolizes the true nature of a consummate sorcerer. Interesting. That's interesting so is that saying the nature of true sorcerers is that they'll that they're eternal like that they live forever i guess interesting huh all right well now we are going to go ahead and uh take on some slime monsters oh boy i can see it over there in the distance just lumbering about god hopefully those slugs aren't gonna follow me all the way out to it something tells me they might oh well god the sounds of the swamp i freaking hate it all right let's be quick about this then oh god i suddenly i immediately regret this decision what the fuck oh god i am in a lot of trouble Jesus Christ. I immediately regret this decision. Whoa, hey there, buddy. God. Oh, he's not that strong. I say as I'm getting dunked on. Gotta move. Shit. Gotta Estes. Estes, those are sorceries. Pretty sure those are sorceries. Oh God, no. This is bad. I need to end this. I need to end this now. Shit. I saw 
Oh god, not one of you. Nope, that's enough out of you. Oh god. That was a close one. More of you? I see you back there. Alright, so the snake, the slime monster wasn't the problem. The problem is this thing. Those of you familiar with Dark Souls 1, Moss Fruit, the hell is a Moss Fruit, uh, will recognize these basilisks. Uh, and if you ever ventured into the depths, you'll understand why I was so keen to get my hands away from it. Those basilisks spit a special um, curse causing fog at you. Uh, and if you are successfully cursed, then you instantly die. I don't know how curse works in this game, but cursing pretty much wrecks your run until you can get it uh, undone. Um, so, something was dropped for us. A moss fruit. A small clump of moss fruit temporarily boosts bleed, poison, frost, and curse resistance. All moss fruit is the same regardless of its color and has the effect of moss of all colors. Huh. Interesting. That's uh, good to have on hand, I suppose. Alright, so we're up here. Hey. Yeah, I didn't think you'd... Oh, God. Yup. Yup. Well, that wasn't my proudest moment. Alright, so here's a couple things. Hopefully, the giant doesn't respawn. Any real oh god, the giant respawned. Jesus Christ. I'm up against the wall. I'm in trouble. I'm dead. Uh, 23,000, I think I just lost. Awesome. Next challenge, finding those basilisks. One aggroed onto me. Here they are. Shit. Gotta move. Yeah, so you can see the skull mark. Basically, if you stand in that fog that they spit out, your curse uh, meter is going to go up. And once it maxes out, you're cursed. Uh, and you just die instantly. It's definitely one of the more brutal mechanics in the game. Considering that they never attack in one. There's always like a swarm of them. Anyway, let's try this again. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I figured. Gotta move. Shit. Damn, just so fast. Gotta get the backstab, there we go. Jesus, such a pain. He was looking up at something. Strange. All right. What are these things? Are these grave markers or something? Pick up a homeward bone, that's useful. See, there's some kind of grave markers. Huh. Fix it. Ah, oh, I see.
just with my hands, just snuff out the flame. I'm a total badass. Hmm. Alright, so there's one of the flames to get into Theron's keep extinguished. Hmm. Alright, so that's one down. Two more to go. Huh. That's cool. <sighs> Just uh, two more to go. An entire swamp to traverse. I don't understand what the point of that shot was, but that was cute, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Another one. So if I come up here, no, I can't see what direction the fire is in from up here. One over there, actually. Oh, up here is a little higher, actually. But that's going to be blocking my sight. So one there, one there. Okay. Interesting. Um, see if there's any treasure that can be gained from this part before we go adventuring in a new part of the swamp. There's an item down here. Trying to be wary of more basilisks. Large soul of a nameless soldier. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, more basilisks off to the side over there. This is bad. Gotta move. Oh god. This is bad. Can't fight them all out here. Looks like there were three. Ah. Damn these things. Is this? This is the entrance to the swamp. Huh. Alright, so the whole thing looped around. Damn it. There was a whole path that had like three or four items on them. Up top. But I wasn't able to get to them. Alright, so. One fire that way. Haven't located the other one yet. But Did I miss something over here? Yeah, I definitely did. I see it now. Alright, so that's that. Yeah, I've actually been wondering about this. I totally missed this. Awesome. <laughs> well, there's that. I wonder how many times I passed by that thing. And... You guys were just screaming at me to turn off the fire. <sighs> Alright. Alright, so that's two fires down. One more to go, and then we can proceed into the Keep of Farron. Let's see if we can discern what direction it's in. Fire is there. All right.
There's an item over here. Ah, deep swamp. I wonder if there is a dra um, rusted iron ring available at this point in the game. Cause I would really like that. I'd like that a lot. I wouldn't have to freaking fat roll my way through the swamp. Mess this up. Purple moss clumps, nice. I'm not really using that as much as I probably should be. All right, let's uh, I'm gonna move on. There's another item up there. Fat roll, fat roll, fat roll, fat roll. Run, run, run. Huh, God, oh, great sword, interesting. And you're telling me there's nothing in this thing? Oh god, I was about to fall. Yeah, nothing in it. Ridiculous. Anyway, so we just got a great sword. Yeah, that's a big weapon. This ultra great sword with its thick blade is one of the heaviest of its kind. Highly destructible, if intolerably heavy. There would appear to be some credence in the rumors that the sword tested the true limits of human strength. And its skill is stomped. Interesting. Uh, I can't see the fire up here. The trees are too thick. Oh, that's what the sound was. Shit. I'm in trouble. I saw another one off to the side, too. Will you guys teach me how to move through the swamp like you guys do? What the hell's going on over there? Oh, that giant must have walked into the fire. Shit. Please, I just want to learn your ways of swamp traversal. Shoo-bit-doo. I want to swamp like you. I want to run like you. Crawl like you. I tried. Uh, okay. I need to locate that fire. I can't see it from down here. Something tells me I'm not going to be able to any time either. Alright, well. I have no choice but to. S Never mind. Shit. Fortunately, these guys are weak as hell. Tight knight shard, nice. Alright, where's the essence soup? Yeah, so there's a pot up here that you can drink. And I think it just gives you a free Estus, basically. So I don't know why you would drink it and not, like, refill your flask with it. But, hey, I'm not the chosen action one. Drink Estus soup. Nice. Alright. Ugh, still can't locate that fire. Damn deep swamp. Um, so yeah, I guess I can't dodge this ladder forever. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty ashamed of it. Up this ladder, there's a lot of really awesome stuff. And, uh, my recording of it all crashed. Um, so I'll, I'll go up there a little later and talk about it. But, uh, I, I'm pretty ashamed of it. Because there's some really important stuff up there. And, uh, I was, like, really excited to talk about it all. And then, uh, they all crashed. Alright, so there's, so it's this way. So I'm gonna have to head back up this path. Let's stop here. Recover all our stuff. I need to upgrade my endurance. My stamina is not where I want it to be. Shit. Like the fact that these guys are giving me trouble. Shit, well if I die I'll be right next to my bonfire.
is ridiculous. I have to rest at this bonfire without even having finished them off. Oh boy. Come on. Sick of you guys. Shit, are you fucking kidding me? Like my oh my fucking god. Ah. Like, should I be using my greatsword? Not my greatsword, broadsword? Yeah, fuck you guys. Excuse me. It's here? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I passed two of them. Two of the fires I passed, and I just walked right by them. I could have been done with this, like, forever ago. I am so stupid. All right, well, here's the keep. That's ominous. I, uh, I would like to go home now. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll let the next, uh, I'll let the next Ashen one, uh, tackle this. Yeah, bye. Thanks for the sword grass. Bye-bye. All right. Let's proceed. I think I am going to switch back to um, my broadsword. I mean, the Uchi Katana is a great weapon, but I feel like the broadsword is just working better for me here. Okay. Now, there's no reason for anything to be here. I see you. Right? You're alive? Yeah, you're alive. They're the things from the Road of Sacrifice. Shit. That means, yep, they fly. Oh god. This is bad. This is real bad. Oh god, getting killed. They're stronger. Shit. Wow. Alright. Oh, wrong way. Nope, don't follow me. Wow. That was freaking havoc. Okay. Alright. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, next episode, I'm going to venture back in there and hopefully not get my butt kicked. Note to self, go up next time. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you guys for joining me for this one. Uh, I'm looking forward to venturing into Farron's Keep. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys will join me. Have an awesome day, guys. Peace.